In this episode, we will add this top navbar and the links, and we will use Bootstrap, which is a CSS framework. So let's create a new folder called Playout and add a navbar component. This will be a stateless functional component. We add a nav tag with several class names. We want a light nav bar with the content at the center. Let's add a link component, which is from React Router Dome. And link the brand logo to our dashboard. So let's import link at the top together with React. and wrap our app name between the link component. We will add a new component called nav items So let's copy the navbar component and create a new component uh, for nav items. Paste what we copied here. We don't need the nav here, only links to our different routes. First, we link logout to sign in route. Then sign up to sign up route. And sign in to the sign in route. We edit the navbar to nav items and save the file. Now let's import nav items component to our navbar. We go to app.js and replace our h3 
with the navbar component make sure to import it at the top we go to our browser and see what we have let's change logout to sign out although it means the same okay good our links are now working when we add authentication we will be able to separate the links depending on all the status so next we will sell our sign in and sign up components remember to subscribe and turn on post notification if you haven't and share